Welcome back to another V Rising video. This one is going to be a quick tip that I think might some people might find useful uh, in terms of like early game progression or at least tier two progression. We are going to be to, uh, doing something a, a little bit of alchemy and not the alchemy table kind of alchemy, but the alchemy of turning our co our copper coins into silver coins. So. Uh, once you you know once you're out of tier one, and you've gotten things like forge floors, alchemy floors, and maybe a few potions, some fish, whatever. So you you may have noticed that a lot of times you kind of get so many copper coins you almost don't know what to do with them. Uh, well, at the meantime, whenever you get into tier two, you know up here in Dunley, and you're working through your tier two progression, uh, sometimes you know you you'll find uh, you'll get come to a point where you start needing a lot of silver coins. And, um, yeah, it can be kind of annoying to go through and find them all uh, in order to spend all those coins and get, you know, Merciless Copper Iron Recipes, Merciless Hollow Fang, Upgraded Pendants, Tailoring Floors. I mean, there's so many things that you need in the farmer's market that, you know, you'll find yourself really needing a lot of coins. So, <clears throat> here, I just wanted to share this here. We're going to turn our copper coins, show how we can turn our copper coins into silver coins. So right here in Farbane. So we are going to go over here to the Bandit Trapper Camp, the Shady, sorry, the Shady Merchants Camp right here south of the Bandit Trapper Camp. So just to start, we're going to hit this one. Okay, now that we're here at the Shady Goods Dealer, we are going, or over here at the, sorry, the Shady Merchant, or Trader Camp, we're going to talk to the Shady Goods Dealer. You'll notice here he has a couple of these bandit weapons here. The lumberjack axes, they cost about 18 copper. So we're going to buy both of these. And next we are going to head over to the other shady trader camp. Okay, so we are at the other shady trader camp here. Shady merchants camp. This is next to the bandit armory where Grayson lives. So again, just a reminder, there's one over here by Keeley. And one over here by Grayson. And we are going to come to the other Shady Dealer. And we're going to find his items, the Miner's Mace. Buy two of those. Again, those are 18 copper apiece. And then we are going to head back to our base. Really quickly. And what's really nice about these items is that they are transportable. So you can just, because they're weapons, you can just TP with them. So go ahead and just hop right to the teleporter and go back to base. Okay. So next, the final little action here, how we how we're going to turn those copper coins into silver coins is the devourer. So we're gonna go ahead and toss all these in. I had another one on hand, we're gonna grab that. Toss them in here, and you'll notice that they are all turning into 12 silver coins. So at any point in time, if you have 18 or 18, 36, you know, whatever, set up to 72 co uh, copper coins that you don't need, but you need silver coins, you can go ahead and travel to these merchant camps every hour or so whenever they reset and spend those copper coins to get yourself silver coins. So again, that was 48 for the four. I had one on me already, so that, that's why I have 60 here, but normally it would be about 48. So there are, so, yeah, about 48. So there we go. We have changed our coins into silver coins. But anyway, thank you for watching. Hopefully that was helpful. And we will catch you in the next one.